Hello and welcome to this week's Discovery Kids Online. I hope you had a great Christmas. Dan, how was your Christmas? Oh, too many Brussels sprouts and a little bit too much turkey. Oh dear. Well, I hope you had loads of fun, you had lots of time with your families and you were able to just relax together too. Well, this week we're going to spend some time thinking back over the last year of all the things that have happened and looking forward to the future too. So we've got loads of games for you, a story, some worship. We're going to have a really fun time together. But why don't we pray before we worship? Lord, we thank you for Discovery Kids Online. We thank you for our Christmas time. Whatever we ended up doing, we thank you, Lord, that you were there in our midst. We pray today you'd help us to have loads of fun with the activities we do, with the worship, with the games. Just help us to enjoy every part of Discovery Kids Online. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, why don't you get everybody up on your feet. Get moving because we need to work off that turkey and those mince pies. And let's sing one of our Christmas songs. Here we go. <laughs> from heaven to a manger The hope of the world's alive for all mankind All of the earth rejoice It's Christmas time So look up your voice and sing out Just started. 
Ready. We're going to do it again. We are going to find a star. 20 seconds starting now. Go! Star, 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 star. That's me, surely, darlings. No, 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 no. Ah, 10 seconds left. I found a star that means a lot to me. Five, four, three, two, one. Time! This is a star that was given to me when we were on tour with Kintsugi Hope, so it means a lot. Are we ready? 20 seconds again now. Keys. A bunch of keys. Are we ready? Go! Keys. This is so we can let Santa in, that magical door, you see. He needs a special set of keys. Can you find them? 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Fantastic, we have keys. Now, 20 seconds to find cake. Yes, we love cake. Ready, steady, go. Cake. Oh, I'm going to find mine. I have cherry bakers. Lovely. Can you find some Christmas cake? We've got Christmas cake in the house. 10 seconds left. Come on, we get getting cake. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, time's up. Right now, all the cakes need to be delivered to me. That's essential. Second thing, next thing rather, 20 seconds to find a piece of tinsel gum. And we're here, I'm wearing my tinsel. And your challenge, you have 10 seconds left, is to put that piece of tinsel around the nearest person. Decorate the nearest person with your tinsel. Five seconds left. Time. Brilliant. Oh, look at all those. You all look like Christmas trees now. Now, I want something orange. Go find something orange. Could be an orange. Five seconds now. Something orange. Might not be an orange, might be a piece of clothing. Something going on. Time is up. Right, we need it there. Two more things. Ten seconds, twenty seconds, sorry, to find a sock. Go! Oh, that's easy. Oh, we really wanted to take it off. We can Sock. Oh, have you got one? I have to pull it away from you a bit. <laughs> and time is nearly up. Time. And the final one. I want you to find 20 seconds to find something that represents what Christmas means to you. Go. What does Christmas mean to you? Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Time is up. I have a candle. Christmas means light and hope for me. Well done. Give yourselves a very big clap. A very Christmas! Hello. Hope you've all had a really lovely Christmas. It's been a really strange year this year, hasn't it? Weeks and weeks of no school, being at home, being taught by mum or dad, or mum and dad. We haven't been able to have big birthday parties or family celebrations. We've had to learn to do work different and school different and there's been some real challenges in that. We've been thinking back 
of some of the challenges we've had um, and also some of the lovely times we've had as well. So have a look at these few clips and see if you recognise yourselves in any of these situations. You're supposed to add the five and carry the ten. Okay. You're supposed to be teaching me. In the Bible, there are lots of people who faced really difficult and challenging times, but they never lost their faith in God. God brought them through all those difficult times, and at the end, he rewarded them hugely. Let's think about a few of those people now, and at the end, there'll be a few quizzy questions, just to check you were listening. So let's start with Job. Job was a very rich, successful man. He had lots of land, lots of servants, lots of children and lots of animals. In fact, in the Bible, it said he had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen and 500 donkeys. Now, Satan believed that Job only loved God because of all the success he had. But God said this wasn't the case, that you could do anything to Job and he would still love God. So Satan decided to put Job to the test. He destroyed all his lands and destroyed all his animals. He took away all his servants and even all of Job's children. And as if that wasn't enough, he made um, Job be covered in all these horrible, itchy, scratchy boils from his head to his toes. And then Job's friends started to turn against him. They thought that he must have done something really bad to be punished in this way. And Job's wife was beginning to lose patience and she couldn't understand why Job was not getting angry with God. But he didn't get angry. He just kept praying and praying every day that God would bring him through this difficult time. And God did reward Job. He gave him back everything that he had lost. In fact, he gave him back even more. Then there's Daniel, a good and trusted friend of King Darius. But this made lots of people jealous. So the jealous people made a plan to get rid of Daniel. They had a law drawn up, which King Darius signed, that anyone caught praying to God would be killed by being thrown into a den of lions. They knew that Daniel prayed to God every day, and it wasn't long before Daniel was caught praying. He was duly sentenced to be killed by being thrown to the lions. The next morning, King Darius hurried down to the den in the hope that Daniel might still be alive. He was absolutely amazed when he called Daniel's name and out Daniel walked without a scratch on him. God had kept Daniel safe. And Daniel's reward was that there was a new law passed that everybody now had to worship Daniel's God. And Daniel was then made a leader. And last of all, there's Naomi who had suffered so much when her husband and her sons had died. She had to leave the place she'd been living and go back to the town that she'd grown up in. She went with her daughter-in-law, Ruth, and they found somewhere to live and somewhere to work on a farm that was owned by a distant relative, a man by the name of Boaz. The work was hard, the hours were long, and the money was poor. After a while, Boaz got to hear about Ruth and how hard she worked and how much she loved her mother-in-law. All this time, Naomi had been praying and praying to God and trusting that he will look after them both. And Naomi was rewarded when Boaz married Ruth. And this meant that Naomi would be looked after for the rest of her life and she'd never have to worry about money or food 
ever again. So when we face difficult times like this year has been, it's so important that we keep spending time with God by praying, reading the Bible or singing the worship songs that we learn in DK every week. God is always listening and he wants to hear from us and he wants to help us in our times of need. So here are those quiz questions, just making sure you were really listening. What man of the Bible owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen and 500 donkeys? That's right, it was Job. Who was thrown into a den of lions? It was Daniel. And this woman loved her mother-in-law so much, she left her country and went with her to a new land. That was Ruth. to reflect back on all that's happened over 2020 but also to take some time to think about the future and everything we're hoping for in 2021 and to remember that there's so many characters in the bible who found things tough and actually even if we're finding things tough in life now we can remember and trust that God is the one who we can rely on he is with us whatever our circumstances well that's all we've got time for today so why don't we pray before we finish? Lord, we thank you so much for Discovery Kids Online and we thank you for the opportunity to reflect back on everything that's happened over 2020. For the good stuff, the bad stuff, the tough stuff, we thank you Lord that you've been with us in everything we've done and we pray that you would keep walking with us through into 2021 and that we'd have a great year in everything that we do knowing and trusting in you. We pray all of these things in your name. Amen. Amen. 
Well, I hope you have the, a great rest of 2020 and we'll see you for Discovery Kids Online in 2021. And in January, we're starting a brand new thing. So we look forward to seeing you then. Have a great week. Bye.